Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. This is my q and I'm doing to answer all the questions after I had gone missing on YouTube for a year. And I'm just going to get this out of the way. I got another cat <laughs> and he never leaves my side. His name is Gunner and I got him uh, to be a partner and friend while I'm gone to my other cat, Rocky, who never wants to be with me anymore. Um, no, she does come around often, but she, it was a big day. We had mold removed today, so there were a lot of people in and out. And so now, she, I had been locking her out in my bedroom where the mold was at. Um, and she loves to sleep underneath the bed in the dark. And so she has had access to it for a few days, and now she is allowed back in there. So she's been gone all day long. All right, so before we get into this Q&A, make sure just like old times you have your snacks i'm starving so i'm eating popcorn and usually i'll have like a glass of wine with you guys but i'm filming a day in the life tomorrow so i don't want to be too swollen um so i'm having an energy drink and i'm just gonna pour it in a wine glass so that i feel included by the way this flavor is bomb if you like those anyway okay so now i feel included i really wish that i was drinking um wine i know i won't finish a whole bottle myself and they'll just go to waste and the only wine that i have here is kind of nice wine so it is what it is so now that we have our snacks and drinks all covered i want to go over my welcome back video um because i think it may have been a little confusing so this past year i went away from youtube and i took some time to really take care of myself reflect and get me in a place where i wanted to be like i wasn't happy where I was in life and um, I needed to make some really big changes. In that video, basically, my parents decided to get divorced, um, which, you know, I just wanted them to be happy, whether it was together, separate, whatever. Like, I love them both so much, but some people aren't meant to be together and stay together just because. Um, and eat both of them not be happy it just didn't I want them to be happy that's the moral of the story um so they got divorced and sold our childhood home which I think I've lived in since I was like six years old and it was a really hard time for me because that was really my home base like I feel like over the last few years I've moved around I've traveled like I've been everywhere but I always had somewhere that was home and with that gone, it just like, I mean, saying bye to your childhood home as it is, is so freaking hard, add a divorce on top of it. And then like for me, like I just felt like I didn't have anywhere. It was really tough on me. Then I decided to leave my boyfriend of four years, which we lived together. Our lives were very intertwined. So I made the decision to move to Miami. Um, the only, I wanted to live where my airline had a base so the two options that sounded best to me was to either to move to dallas chicago to go home or miami and a girl turning 29 starting over single miami was kind of a clear idea in my head because i didn't think i wanted to go home and it was miami or dallas in my head and i wasn't ready to yeehaw it up so miami here we came and we have been living in Miami now and it's great. So now that I kind of covered that story, we can get onto the questions and I'm so ready to fill you guys in. I told you guys to ask me some of the juiciest questions and you guys delivered. So let's get into it. Before even looking at any of the questions, the main one that I've seen from you guys is what happened to my cat, Charlie. So we had two cats when I lived in Philadelphia. One was Rocky, she was my calico that we rescued. And then the other one was a Scottish straight, um, beautiful girl. She was such a beautiful cat. She ended up staying with my ex. She loved him so, so, so much and only him. She doesn't like anyone but him even still. So. It was kind of a no-brainer that she was going to stay with him and Rocky was really, she loved us both so much but she was really my girl. Me and her were like this and like I loved her so much that he was like, yes of course you can take Rocky. Um, and it was hard to split them up, it really was. Um, 
but I got Gunner after a few months of the guilt that I had leaving and I knew that eventually I wanted to get another cat. And here came this little rascal who literally never ever leaves me alone and I love it so much. All right, let's get into the questions now. The question is, how do you like being based in Miami versus Philadelphia? I actually really love being based here in Miami. Um, I never had any issues with Philadelphia except I feel like Miami's base is a lot more chill. Like my crew members here, I everyone is so laid back. I feel like in Philadelphia, that <laughs> this is gonna sound bad and I do not mean it to, but you never knew like you'd get like a crabby crew member or like what sort of, you know, stickler things they would have about how strict they were about this that, or the other down here everyone just really relaxed um the trips are a little bit more rough because we do a lot of um caribbean flying and it's a lot more legs i really don't mind because at the end of the day like i'd rather have a good crew and work more legs it makes it a lot more fun for me um and the destinations we go to are a lot better a lot of people warn me like oh you're gonna be based in miami like the people are crazy down there and i honestly haven't had any problems you guys i think it's all about how you handle the situations and how you treat people and for me personally i don't really i have that much drama on the planes and i don't know i feel like if you're not a like go with the flow kind of person you wouldn't like being based in miami but i'm very like go with the flow i'm literally so laid back on the plane um i don't have any issues this one says when you move home bases does the airline provide money to help no they do not so you moving from base to base is all on you so i had to purchase and this was obviously my choice um a pod to ship all my things down here and then i loaded up my car as well and drove down and all that cost was on me the airline does not help you um they'll give you moving days but besides that you're kind of on your own and it is expensive to move you guys so take that into account because i did not realize how much it was going to be was moving part of the reason why you had to leave the relationship i decided to move when i knew i wanted to end the relationship it wasn't you know work made me move or anything like that it was my choice to move down here um because philadelphia is a small city and personally i didn't love the city enough to stay there and it's a very like couple city like everyone there is in a relationship and we would run into each other eventually and he's from there so well he's from near there so i just i felt like the city was too small for both of us to be there you know if money was no object and you could buy a house anywhere in the world where and why i would hands down buy a house in wyoming or montana i would love to just be off the grid it may not seem like it because i well, actually, no, it would seem like it because I just went rogue for a year. I love my privacy. Like, I do not like to be the center of attention. I don't like people knowing my business. Like, I do YouTube because I can decide what's out there. But, like, I'm a very private person. And I would love to just be in the middle of nowhere around nature and just have a great cabin house and do my thing away from... All the crazies how has it been since you've risen from the dead and back on youtube <laughs> oh, i like the way you phrase that um it has actually been really good for me i think that i hadn't realized how much of me is kind of like a part of youtube like it's really part of my identity um and gives me so much purpose like being a flight attendant obviously is my main job but it's you don't have to think about it it doesn't challenge you it's kind of like riding a bike you know what you're doing you're not working hard to get to a higher position in the company like it is what it is so being on youtube it really gives me something to like be creative with and work and you know communicate with you guys and the outpour of love that i have gotten from these last few videos you guys i was not expecting it i one of the questions on here was um 
were you worried about coming back to YouTube? And I absolutely was because I didn't know if there was a place for me here anymore or maybe like I missed my chance and I was gone for too long. Um, but I, it has been really good for me um, to be back on here and be creative with the videos and it just feels so good. I, I was actually really surprised by it because since I am such a private person, I thought that being away would make me feel better. But no, this is making me feel really good. You guys are so sweet for asking me questions like that. Oh. Okay, this is a big one because this is something I struggle with. Why aren't you active on Instagram anymore? So I struggle so much with Instagram, you guys. I struggle with like the making everything cohesive and look aesthetically pleasing and this, that, and the other. And I hate taking pictures. I would rather do a video all day long because everything seems fake to me. Like the way that you can like transform like how you look, everything like that. It's just... I don't like it. I like a video and being able to see someone's like personality, the way they talk, like 3D. But it's something that I'm working on because I definitely want to post on Instagram, but I just need to figure out how to make it natural for me and not so fake. Because I hate that part about Instagram. I hate that like everyone only posts their highlight reel and everyone looks like they're a freaking doll like it just none of it's real and I struggle a lot with it so I'm working on it um, I want to get YouTube in check before I tackled that um, but no I will be posting more content on there what's one thing you wish you could tell your 21 year old self if I could go back in time you guys I was such a wreck when I was in college between like 19 21 um, would be to stay single. I was in some like terrible relationships and it, I was like a totally different person and I did not like who I was, um, but I was too close to it to like realize that I needed to step away. Um, and like, yeah, if I could go back, I would absolutely say stay single because those were your times to like make friends and enjoy your younger years and get like all that out of you and I decided to be in relationships that were very toxic and made me not happy and confident in myself so if I could go back be single when you're young okay so the question is how are you doing living alone for the first time and you guys I have really loved living alone so I am technically an only child I have stepbrothers but they are much older than me so when i was younger they were there for a little bit but then they were in military school and things like that so besides friends i kind of grew up alone and i'm very comfortable being alone but i have loved living alone um and doing what i want when i want and you know it really helps you find yourself i think that if i could give advice to anyone I think it's really important for you to live alone at least once in your life because you really get to know yourself and know like your strengths, your weaknesses. There were a lot of things whenever I lived with other people that they would do, but like I had to start doing for myself and you just, you learn a lot about yourself and life, you know? I, I really enjoyed it. Okay, a lot of questions if about I'm still wearing extensions and I am not, you guys. I have totally transformed my hair. I haven't worn extensions in like four years um yeah i have really my hair has gotten total 180 from those old videos where my hair was literally fried off because i was bleaching it too much you guys remember that oh my god that was so bad did i spot you on a tv show recently you did my friend jade is on this new season of love during lockup on we tv and i am on the show for a few episodes so <laughs> oh rocky's coming out um so yes you did see me on the commercials and i will be in this season i don't know how many episodes um i don't know anything about it but it comes out this friday I met her um when i worked at my regional airline and then she ended up marrying someone and here we are <laughs> so go watch it any exciting plans for summer other than work so I actually was in Greece this summer I went to Athens and Santorini and then I ended up leaving a little bit early because I got really sick so I missed out on Mykonos 
Um, and then I actually turn 30 next month, you guys, on August 25th. So I don't know what I'm doing for that yet. If I had to plan my dream birthday or just like what I want, this isn't like my dream birthday, but this is what I want. I either want to spend the day at a beach and then do like a chill dinner by the water that probably has like a live band and like really relaxed and Corona in my hand, that would be great. Um, or some kind of concert, um, even if it's like a beer garden concert, just something fun like that, easy going, laid back, nothing like fancy or too. I'm really freaking bad at planning things. Um, I, I'm not gonna plan anything. That's kind of it. The summer's almost over, which is so crazy. Curious about salary as a flight attendant and if you feel like it's enough so you can look up the salary online i think the starting pay is about 30 dollars across the board um and i absolutely do not think it's enough because you're getting based in like these major cities that cost so much money and the cost of living is so high right now um i even struggle and i've been flying for five years six i've been flying for a while um so I do not think it's enough and yeah, we're going through negotiations for pay raises currently, um, but it is a struggle. Will you be posting more regular videos like you used to in the past? Absolutely. So my plan is to really put my foot on the gas and get back to what I used to do. Probably posting the same as when I first started YouTube. Um, I'm aiming for a video a week if not more um you know that break really gave me time to appreciate this uh platform that i have and have you guys as a community so i'm gonna try and go full throttle here so give me some recommendations for what you guys want to see in the comments below i have some creative ideas but i would love to know your guys input all right huge question why did you guys break up okay <sighs> Let me just get settled in for this because I know this is really what everyone wants to know. Um, I'm just, I feel like it's a big question. Okay, so why did you guys break up? I was dating him when I originally lived in Philly a little bit um, and then I moved to Chicago and I told him like, I'm always moving back to Chicago. I'm not looking for anything serious. I moved back to Chicago. Um, he came and visited me. We, feelings came back and he asked me to move in with him in Philadelphia and i decided yes and covid hit everything like that it was really hard for us because there was no specific reason why it wasn't working out but it just wasn't like we are both great people and we both have so much love for each other but it just wasn't there and i think that's what was the hardest part to walk away from was because there was no serious problem no one cheated there wasn't anything it just wasn't working and like i my gut and my intuition was telling me like carrie this is not it like but it's so hard to walk away from something where there's no problems and it's so hard to hurt someone that you care so deeply about and we had a great life together and like he would even say like our life is so good right now why can't we just get along we had talked about breaking up before and um decided you know we're gonna give it another shot and then like i went away on that trip and went and saw a movie by myself that night i just like didn't want to text him anymore like i just didn't like i was so just checked out um and i felt like i had nothing left to give to it so when i got home he i came home he had made me dinner for my trip and he was like, are you leaving me? And I was like, yeah. No juicy details, there's no like crazy story. Um, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. And we tried and tried and tried and it was such a hard decision and the breakup was so hard and our lives got so intertwined. I was such good friends with everyone and loved everyone so much once it happened it kind of like i didn't like it happened so fast um 
I never got to see our friends again. I never got to say goodbye. And like, I, I really regret like not texting them and saying bye um, or like asking to see them or anything. But I just, I was so like going through things so emotionally that like I kind of felt like I'm hurting everyone. Like they just, like I felt pushed out pretty quickly. Um, and I know that wasn't their intention. They were loyal to him. They were friends with him first. Um, so I completely understood that. It was just, I wish I could have said goodbye. But I did get a chance to say goodbye to his brother's wife, um, who I was extremely close with, who I was supposed to be in the wedding with. And you guys know, like, I love her. There are no hard feelings about not being in the wedding. Um, looking back on it, like, seeing the footage, now I'm like, Carrie, like, what were you thinking that you'd ever be in the wedding? Like, but I know how close we all were and he was, he wanted me to be in it. So it was a very amicable breakup. It was a very mature breakup and he's a very mature person. I don't have any family in Philadelphia um, and my parents were going through it. My mom was, you know, moving out of our family house and stuff like that and he really, was there for me and was so kind through it all and he helped me with like moving the boxes and you know it was just it was such a mature breakup and I'm so thankful for that because leaving and like I kind of did it all on my own I besides him like it was all just me um I didn't really have like a support system I didn't really want to tell anyone um because I just, I don't want other people's opinions. Like whenever I'm making a decision, I just want to be in my own head and not get, you know, people don't know my situation. People don't know our relationship. So I don't want any advice. And maybe that sounds bad, but I just think that, you know, people only, like people give you advice from their past experiences and I'm pretty level-headed and I know what's best for me and best for us and I just, it's one of those things that I had to do on my own and yeah. So I also um, ended up during that time, I was following an account, Leo Skeppy, um, and he was going through, you know, he was, felt like he was in a rut and needed, he was planning on moving um, and I really resonated with his content and I was like, wow, like, he's doing this, he's doing it alone, he's moving, and seeing someone else be able to do it, it was really inspiring. If you guys don't follow him, you should definitely follow him. He is funny, um, and he has some great snacks for um, healthy eating. How is your new life in Florida going? How is your mental and physical health? Um, what will be your new YouTube content? Do you plan on doing a makeup line, clothing line one day? Are you seeing a therapist help you? Exercising, e-tech. Okay, so this is a great question. My new life in Florida is going really well. I will say it's really hard to make friends here. It, it's kind of hard with like me being gone from work so much. I've met some really cool flight attendants down here. Um, but I live so south that... Um, everyone else is kind of north. How is my mental and physical health? I've started working out, so go me. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I definitely struggle with, you know, anxiety and depression, and it makes such a big difference. Even if it's just going outside for a walk for like 15 minutes, um, it really has helped with me getting out of my own head and like pulling myself out of a rut. Like I really can get stuck sometimes. What will be my new content? So I don't want it to just be so focused on flight attendant stuff. I really want to do more like day in the life things and um, stuff like that. So it's going to be around the same, but I'm going to add in more lifestyle things. I'm not currently seeing a therapist. I was when I lived in Philadelphia. Um, but I am not anymore. It is something that I've thought about getting back into. Makeup line or clothing line. You guys, I have always wanted to do this. I just don't know what exactly I would want to do because I have such an interest in so many things. Um, and I've thought about this time and time again and I just haven't been able to like nail down what I'd want to do it on. So it will eventually be happening. I just like, 
I have so many ideas and I just need to hone it in and pick one. Do you want to post more on TikTok instead of YouTube? Not more than YouTube, but I'm definitely going to start posting on there, you guys, because I really, it's so easy to make these little short clips and post them really quickly, whereas on here, it takes me a while to edit the video, do the footage, thumbnails, all of that. And on TikTok, like, if you guys do a comment, I can reply to it so quickly and post it. So I really like that. Okay, lots of questions. Um, my mom is still living in the Chicagoland area, and she actually moved in with my aunt and they're living together with like a little golden girl situation so i love that for them how is my grandmother doing lots of grandma questions she is doing great i saw her a few weeks ago her and my grandpa and they are awesome watching the little squirrels in the backyard the last question is are you single and i am currently dating someone and for now that is all i'm going to say about that I really hope that i answered most of your guys questions i tried to do the ones that seemed the most common and frequently asked and that really had to do with me being gone this past year and all the life changes that I had. The like meaningful ones, you know? Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued support. Just really love the way that you guys have made me feel coming back to YouTube. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you so much. So thank you. It has been the warmest welcome. See you guys in our next video. Bye.